Australia is known for many things. It's natural beauty, awesome celebrities, and of course, dangerous wildlife. There is an extensive amount of deadly creatures in this country, and they can be found all the way from the wild outback to the Great Barrier Reef. Here's what to look out for. The most dangerous animals in Australia. Number nine, funnel web spider. This funnel web spider can be found in Sydney, New South Wales, and they have a pretty horrible reputation. Its venom is packed with at least 40 toxic proteins. People bitten by these fearsome Australian arachnids will suffer extreme pain, breathing problems, confusion, convulsions, and dangerously high blood pressure. It can overload the body's nervous system. And if the bite is left untreated, the venom can kill within minutes. If anti-venom isn't applied within minutes of the bite happening, the person will die. And if it doesn't kill you, you'll wish that it had, as it's said to be one of the most painful bites in the world. That kind of poison intensity makes it one of, if not, the deadliest spider on earth, and definitely something you should be on the lookout for should you go to Australia. They can be up to two inches in size, which is big. With their dark coloring and shiny heads, they often get mistaken for tarantulas. Their webs range anywhere from 20 centimeters to 60 centimeters in depth. They tend to hide in humid and sheltered places, usually between rocks, under houses, or in holes in the trees. They bury themselves in their webs of silk and dart at their prey, sinking their fangs in. Which, by the way, their fangs are larger than some snakes. That's a pretty horrifying thought, but very true. They're also strong enough to penetrate fingernails and soft shoes. This is a particularly deadly spider that has an obsession that tends to draw it closer to humans. It really enjoys the water, especially when there's a heat wave going on which is quite common in Australia. They'll do things like climb up trees and dive into pools, in which they can survive for several hours by trapping themselves in air bubbles. This becomes a problem for people with pools because, of course, they will see them and try to get rid of them by scooping them out. But bonus danger, these spiders are also super aggressive. They will bite you. Number eight, sharks. The obsession and fear of sharks is insane. There are over 400 species of sharks swimming in our planet's oceans, and about half of them are found in Australia. Fancy a run-in with jaws? There are a few that might make you pause when you think about going to the beach. Here's the deadliest ones you can find, or can find you. The great white shark. They are without doubt the most feared apex predator in the ocean. These giants are particularly fond of the cooler waters around Australia's coastline. They love to dine on sea lions, but if you're in the way, they might do a human flesh taste test. Also the tiger shark. They actually don't look too much like a tiger, but are every bit as intimidating. While the great whites like the cooler water, tiger sharks enjoy the tropics of the northern reefs and deeper oceans. Unfortunately, these guys eat just about anything. They've been found with tires, license plates, and even other sharks in their stomachs. While all sharks can be scary, the one you need to be most careful of in Australia is the bull shark. They are great scavengers and love to swim in shallow waters, which means they can be found in rivers and harbors looking for food. And while humans aren't their preferred meal, if they're hungry, they may take a bite out of you. Number seven, Eastern Brown Snake. In Australia, there are many snakes known to be extremely venomous and deadly, but the one you should especially fear is the Eastern Brown Snake. Aggressive and fast moving and are known for their bad temper, these snakes are responsible for more deaths in Australia every year than any other snake. Their venom is ranked as the second most toxic of any land snake in the world, and they thrive in areas like farms and rural areas with mice. Their venom is known to be very fatal to humans. When they're disturbed, the eastern brown snake raises its body off the ground, forming an S-shape, mouth gaping, open, ready to strike. Symptoms of a bite include localized pain in the foot and neck region, tingling, numbness, and sweating, followed by a fairly rapid onset of breathing difficulties and the venom causes progressive paralysis and stops the blood from clotting, which may take many doses of anti-venom to reverse. Victims may collapse within a few minutes. Before the anti-venom became available, 80% of the people bitten all died. This is just one of many dangerous snakes in Australia. Some are small and deadly, but there are also some really big ones out there too, like the scrub python, which has been known to eat kangaroos and other various creatures. Number six, 
bull ant. These little guys are actually some of the world's largest ants. They will readily punish anyone who gets near their nest. Their jaws are incredibly long, but be warned, it's the rear end that dispenses the sting. The bigger ones are armed with six times as much venom as a honeybee. Ants are like wasps that adopted a crawling lifestyle, and the bull ant makes that obvious. They are one of the oldest ant groups, and they have very wasp-like bodies. They have small colonies with a few hundred or at most a few thousand residents, compared to millions in some other ants. There are a small species called jack jumpers that will leap onto your ankles if you displease them. Watch out. Australians often wonder why they have so many stinging creatures like snakes and the funnel web spider. This question lacks a satisfying answer. As for bull ants, they happen to be in Australia only because they died out everywhere else. Number five, stonefish. The waters of Australia can be very deceptive. While they are a nice shade of blue, they hold many dangers including creatures that you won't see coming until it's too late. A great example of this is the stonefish, as they prefer to lay low and camouflage within its surroundings. The poison of this fish is so strong that people are known to beg for limbs to be cut off to stop the pain from happening, and it will kill you if an antidote isn't administered. That's horrifying to think about and more than enough proof to avoid it. Quite a bit of anti-venom is required to reverse their effects. The stonefish loves to lay on the ocean floor and blend in with the surrounding ocean environment. Not only are they tricky to see, but due to their size, they are often mistaken for part of a coral reef or a stone. Hey, that must be where the name comes from. Since they're difficult to notice, stonefish are often stepped on, which activates the venom sacs. Along their back, stonefish have 13 spines with glands at the base of each one that hold the venom. As carnivores, the stonefish's diet mainly consist of various shrimps and other fish. Due to their excellent camouflage skills, they're able to attack their prey using the element of surprise. They will wait patiently for something to swim by, then attack and swallow their prey in as little as 0.015 seconds. Despite this incredible speed, they're generally very slow swimmers, which is good for us. Stonefish prefer very shallow waters, thus making them very likely to be found by people on beaches or those who take light dives. Though fatalities of the stonefish are rare due to location and the anti-venom, it's still a creature you don't want to mess with. Number four, blue ringed octopus. When you first look at this psychedelic looking creature, you might do what I did, go, aw, what a cute little squish, but you probably don't want to get too close. While the blue ringed octopus may look adorable, this little guy is one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. Its venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide. Talk about looks can be deceiving. This deadly toxin is called tetrodotoxin. The venom is produced by a symbiotic bacteria in the animal's salivary glands. It is more toxic than that of any mammal on land. They primarily use it when hunting. They like to capture shrimp and crab and other small fish by pecking through the prey's exoskeleton with its beak and inserting the venom. Then it will use its beak to pick off the meat while its prey remains helplessly paralyzed. This golf ball-sized octopus can kill you very quickly. Not so innocent squishy. Their venom packs enough poison to kill 26 humans within minutes. So resist the urge to cuddle. Luckily for us, they aren't aggressive creatures and will only bite if it feels provoked. And you will know when they feel threatened because that's when the bright blue rings that gave it its name appear all over its back, and then they lash out at those foolish enough to get in its space. So what happens if you're bitten by a blue ringed octopus? First, the venom blocks nerve signals throughout the body, causing muscle numbness. Other symptoms of a bite include vision loss or blindness, nausea, and loss of senses and loss of motor skills. In the end, it will cause muscle paralysis, including the muscles needed for humans to breathe, leading to respiratory arrest. There is no antidote known to man, but victims can be saved if artificial respiration is started immediately. If you ever encounter this blue and yellow beauty, back away in a hurry. Its bite is usually painless, so you might not know if you've been bitten until it's too late. Now the good news is that the blue ringed octopus honestly doesn't like to confront things like humans. They usually don't come out of their comfort zone unless they are seeking food or a mate. And while it does do camouflage, it's easier to spot than things like the stonefish. They're pretty reclusive and rarely seen in water deeper than 10 feet. 
They like to stay on the soft, sandy bottom of the shallow tide pools, like the Great Barrier Reef. They often hide in crevices and shells. In Australia, there have only been three confirmed deaths by this octopus. However, all it takes is one mistake to change that. So again, be very wary as you go into the waters. Number three, saltwater crocodile. Despite the beloved Steve Irwin and Crocodile Dundee creating a stereotype of sorts that all Australians love to wrestle crocodiles, you may not want to try. Saltwater crocodiles are one of the deadliest animals in Australia and the world. Not only are saltwater crocodiles the largest reptile in the world, they have also been around for over 240 million years. They've been thriving since before the dinosaurs were extinct. They can live up to 80 years even today and can reach lengths of more than 23 feet. Yikes! They have extremely powerful jaws and the strongest bite in the animal world. Their teeth can be up to five inches long. The animal's ability to hold its breath for long periods of time make it the perfect predator for hunting large land mammals. Although they spend most of their time in Australia's freshwater rivers and swamps, they move to estuaries and occasionally the open sea during the dry season. In living in the murky waters, it's often hard to see them approach until it's too late. Saltwater crocs are opportunistic feeders. Their diet is a fairly large menu. They aren't too picky. They'll mostly feed on crabs, fish, birds, turtles, pigs, buffalo, and the occasional human. Their deadliest attack is known as the death roll, which is designed to throw large prey off balance so they can drag them into the water easily. They will watch their prey while camouflaged and lurking in the water and then strike an ambush, pulling them in. When an animal puts up a fight, they roll their bodies underwater, disorienting the prey, making it easier to feast. A human can apply 100 pounds of pressure per square inch with their jaw, but a crocodile can apply up to 5,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. You should be very careful along the water's edge. These massive deadly beasts can get you in a blink of an eye. Number two, box jellyfish. The box jellyfish is one of the greatest terrors of the ocean today. Large and in charge and completely transparent in color, one sting from them and you can be sent to Davy Jones' locker. Of all the deaths caused by jellyfish, this one has done the most damage. The venom from the box jellyfish is extremely lethal. Over 70 people on record have died from their powerful sting. They have 15 tentacles that can reach up to 10 feet in length, and all of them are deadly. Each one has about 5,000 stinging cells that are triggered by chemicals on the skin of animals and humans. Their venom is designed to either instantly stun or kill their prey. Toxins attack the skin cells, nervous system, and heart. Humans who have been stung can go into shock and drown or die due to heart failure before they have a chance to reach the shore. While most jellyfish float wherever the current takes them, the box jellyfish can move through the water quickly. They are usually found in large groups and appear in the warmer coastal waters. And in Australia's summers, it's not uncommon for them to be in places where people love to swim. Number one, Megalania. This is a creature that is believed to be extinct, but some wonder if that's honestly true. In the Ice Age, there was a creature that roamed the outback known as the Megalania. This lizard was 23 feet long and was said to have a mouth full of teeth that were not only sharp, but also extremely venomous. What really made this creature so dangerous was that it didn't care what it ate. Instead, it would go for anything in range and completely devour them. This included the earliest settlers of the land. So much so, that the Aboriginal folklore still talks about the Megalania as something to be feared. Despite them supposedly dying out, there are many reports that say there are still some in the Australian outback today, which, given the size of the outback, isn't as impossible as you might believe. So should you be traveling anywhere in that region of the continent? Beware. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these dangerous animals in Australia? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.